So yeah, we just were watching your film, your newest movie, Depth Perception. Yeah, it's good. I know and it's hard to say. <laughs> and yeah, for me it was quite a special film, like with the trees and all that stuff. What was your most memorable moment in the in the movie while making it? Um, you know, there's a, there's a moment in the film that we, we do capture pretty well, but um, we did a lot of uh, pre-production for the film, okay. uh, doing research about man everything from like the symbiosis to what type of particular species of flora and fauna exist in this particular area. As we really wanted to tell the story of. Uh, Galena of this particular area we were in and we learned early on with a, a naturalist and also Buff who yeah. is one of the characters he's an amazing mountain guide yeah. um, about this uh, little uh, ancient forest they call it an ancient forest okay. because it was a pocket of old growth cedars that had never been cut by man or destroyed by glaciation or with fire and so Literally tens of thousands of years, this, this forest has existed. Okay. And, you know, we built it up as this big thing because for an entire winter, there was one place on the map that we wanted to spend time to go to. Yeah. And you see it in the film, we actually make it out to this location and walking around this particular forest, man, it's, the, the trees are massive. Um, you know, you, you judge the age of a forest by how many trees are per hectare. Okay. And this particular area has the fewest number of trees per hectare because okay. they they're huge, huge forests. And so we got to go and we got to go snowboard for just one day okay. in this particular area. And uh, the tree run that we rode down truly was the best tree run I think any of us have ever had. The snow quality was perfect. It was just everything lined up for that day. Okay. So honestly, Excellent. that's the best part. Yeah. A lot Do of people. Do you have time for that? What, to, to reflect to yourself and stuff? Because you are, now you're here, tomorrow you're there. Sure. After tomorrow you're maybe in Russia. I don't sure. know. Sure. Um, yeah. You know, that's, that's one of the reasons that I, I think I live on a sailboat for three to four months out of the year. Okay. Yeah. Honestly, to be able to take some time off. and yeah. Yeah, It's necessary. It's so easy to get caught up in the rat race of life these days, you know, everyone's busy. Yeah, everyone's sure. busy. Yeah. Uh, yeah, now I have just 10 questions. <laughs> you answer very spontaneously. Okay. It's just like, what do you prefer, heli or splitboard? Um, heli. Okay. Beer or wine? Wine. Um, lift lines or touring? Touring. Five star hotel or a cabin in the mountains? cabin in the mountains. Snowshoes or splitboard? Depends on how steep it is. Okay. <laughs> healthy food or eating whatever you get? Uh, healthy food, 100%. All right. Um, riding your backyard or new challenging lines? New challenging lines. All right. An amazing woman or a big day in Alaska? Big day in Alaska. Yeah. Right. What are your plans for the upcoming years? Did you already do everything you have in mind or are there still big projects or are um, you going to settle down a little bit? I'm trying to simplify my life right now for sure. But, uh, you know, I, honestly the focus of my year has been getting to this point tonight where, you know, finishing this yeah. film, it took a lot of work to get this film to the, to the end line. Um, and Man, I don't know what I'm doing this winter, and that's a fucking beautiful thing. I'm yeah, stoked. I got no plans. I, I, hope the, I hope the winter comes to Europe because I'd love to come spend some time over here. Okay, cool. It's been too long since I got to actually ride winter conditions in Europe. Yeah. Nice. That's we also hope. <laughs> I'm sure. I'm yeah. sure. <laughs> I came last year at the very end of the year for three weeks and toured around the Alps. Got to see a lot of incredible resorts. Um, yeah. Looking around, sniffing. <laughs> for, yeah. Uh, it's, it's beautiful to come in the springtime because when it's clear and, you know, there's no avalanche hazard. Springtime is our favorite time for touring. Sure. Yeah, you can get out. I came, I traversed out of a lot of resorts with binoculars and cameras and uh, a lot yeah. of places I saw that I want to come back. Yeah. Uh, hey, well, thanks for the time and yeah. appreciate the, the effort and see you in the forest. I mean, I think that's kind of the theme, right? Yeah. <laughs>